Assalamualaikum. My name is Mastiara Atira and I am currently in the new campus of Uniki Almiyat in Subang. So for my aviation finance video assignment, I am going to talk about the development of superjet in airline industry. Concorde is a British French turbojet powered supersonic passenger jet airliner that was operated until 2003. It had a maximum speed over twice the speed of sound at Mark II with seating for 92 to 128 passengers. First flown in 1969, Concorde entered service in 1976 and continued flying for the next 27 years. It is one of the only two supersonic transports to have been operated commercially. The other is the Soviet Bill Tupolev Tu-144 which was operated for a much shorter period. Concord's name meaning harmony or union was chosen to reflect the cooperation on the project between the United Kingdom and France. In the UK, any or all of the type are known simply as Concord with no defining article. In 2006, Concord won the Great British Design Quest organized by the BBC and the Design Museum, meeting other well-known designs such as the BMC Mini, the Mini Skirt, the Jaguar E-Type, the London Tube Map, and the Supermarine Spitfire. Today, it takes 7 hours to fly from New York to London on a regular plane. But on Concord, it only took about 3 hours and 30 minutes. This 3 hours if it was record time. A journey that would have taken the Titanic 137 hours have become just barely long enough to watch the Titanic movie itself while crossing the Atlantic. Concord was retired in 2003 after the crash of the Air France Flight 4590, in which all passengers and crew were killed. The general downturn in the commercial aviation industry after the September 11 attacks in 2001 and the end of maintaining support for Concord by Airbus also contributed. One of the benefits of flying with Concord is it has a very high speed. This is because Concorde is designed and built with double delta shaped wings. It is also is built with a variable engine air intake RAM system controlled by digital computers. Not only that, Concorde also has a super cruise capability. Trust by wire engines, predecessor of today's FIDEC controlled engines, and also a drop nose section for better landing visibility. For weight saving and enhanced performance, a Concorde is mainly constructed using a high temperature alloy similar to the developed for aero engine pistons. This material gave low weight and allowed conventional manufacture because higher speeds would have ruled out aluminium. A Concorde also is full regime autopilot and auto throttle allowing hands off control of the aircraft from time out to landing. The Concorde also is a fully electrically controlled analog fly-by-wire flight control system as well as fully electrically controlled analog break-by-wire system. There are parts made using sculpture milling, reducing the part count while saving weight and adding strength. No auxiliary power unit as Concorde would only visit large airports where ground air start cards are available. Club Concorde, made up of former captains, charterers and aviation fans, says it has 120 million euro in reserve for the return to flight plan. The group also plans to put another of the supersonic aircraft on permanent display in central London. Negotiations are now underway to try to purchase or lease the two aircraft. Club Concorde President Paul James said they were hoping to source both the display and flight jets from France but no agreements had yet been made. After restoration, the plane would be used at air shows for special events and travel charter. Mr. James said he was confident a plane would be secured and hoped flights would start by 2019 to coincide with the 50th anniversary of Concorde's first flight. Club Concorde's plan started after the group raised 40 million euro to try to display a jet on London's South Bank close to the London Eye. All the authorities have been very keen to their idea to bring Concorde to the river as a tourist attraction, and London Eye also has agreed that they could share their landing stage. The group still also needs to secure planning permission, but Mr. James said they were aiming to have the attraction up and running by 2017 before looking to open a similar display in Paris. 
So basically, Concord Club are very in high hopes to get the jet airborne by 2019. And that's all from me. Thanks for watching.